Hey everybody, welcome back. This is a fun article. We're talking about knowing what your customers really have to get done, quote unquote, their jobs to be done. A good way to start this is to know that we're always looking at customer data. We have all this data on our customers and it's nice to know where there's patterns or correlation, but correlation is not causality. However, decisions keep being made based off of this data and this correlation that we're finding. It's ultimately leading your firm in the wrong direction. My family says that my fiance is out of my league. All the data points to her being with someone handsomer, more successful, makes more money, taller, the list can go on. What you wanna do next is understand what your customer's job to be done is. What do they need and why? Now this answer could be complex and multifaceted, but just focus on the why and what needs to be done in a certain circumstance. So that's the key, the circumstance. The circumstance is more important than that customer data. Sticking with the fiance metaphor, the job to be done for my fiance was to find someone to spend the rest of her life with. The circumstance was that she needed to find a guy who can take direction on every single small minuscule part of their life and how they act down to how they breathe so they can be obedient and live a happy, healthy life. This guy. After that, innovate to solve the problems that had inadequate or no solutions at all before. Think disruptive innovation. Also remember that jobs that have to be done have a social and emotional aspect to them. Again, my fiance's job was to get married. However, I saw that she had these social and emotional needs. So I wrote these sweet soliloquies and poems that she never read and provided her with an abundance of jokes she does not care for in the least. You're gonna to wanna to design your product based off of the jobs to be done. This is exactly why candy comes in these large resealable bags now. This is so fatties don't feel so fat anymore so they can just grab a handful of M&Ms rather than eating the individual bags and realizing that they completely cleaned out your local grocer. Next thing to focus on is creating a customer experience. The article I'm taking this from, they use the American Girl dolls as an example. Now these freaky gloss-eyed terrors, they're not the greatest, but when a hardworking, dejected, single mother pays hundreds of dollars for her ungrateful, bratty nine-year-old to buy accessories and do makeup at the store just to salvage some kind of happy childhood after the gruesome two-year divorce, now that's an experience. Lastly, align the processes within the organization to deliver to the customer. Simple as it is, make sure everyone has a common goal. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, start talking to people. And as always, if there's any topic you want to talk about, just go ahead and throw it in the chat and I'll get something going. Thanks.